I am starting, sir. Mm. I am presenting a case history of 33 year old male patient, Mr. Chintu Kumar Patel, uh, Hindu by religion, married, resident of Surat, educated up to 10 standard, coming from lower socioeconomic class, informant is himself and uh, his father, presented with chief complaint of palpitation for last two years and breathlessness on exertion for last 10 months. Uh, patient was symptomatically all right until two years back. Then he developed palpitations uh, initially on exertion, on heavy exertion, regular, slow in onset and slow in offset, subside by taking rest. This palpitation were gradually progressive and from last eight to ten months, he is having palpitation on daily routine activity like taking bath, dressing and undressing, uh, which is of NYHA class three. Palpitations are not associated with any chest pain. No history of rest palpitation. No history of post palpitation diuresis is there. Uh, patient is also complaining of breathlessness, uh, which which initially only on heavy exertion like running and rapid walking, which is gradually progressive. Even from last uh, one and a half month, he is having breathlessness on daily routine activity. NYHA class three. No history of PND. No history of orthopnea. No history of any chest pain associated with breathlessness. No history of any joint pain or no history of prolonged fever is there, sir. Uh, coming to past history, patient was born with a normal vaginal delivery at full term, healthy at birth. At the age of two to two and a half years, they consulted local doctor for cough and common cold. And on examination, the doctor found murmur for which he was advised for cardiac consultation. He was undergone echocardiography and diagnosed to have hole in the heart and advised for close follow-up and further treatment. But due to financial constraints and ignorance in family, they were not in, uh, not in follow-up as patient was asymptomatic. Coming to personal history, he is a smoker. Uh, sleep and appetite is normal. Bowel bladder is normal. He is married with two children. He is having two children. Both are uh, no history of cardiac history in family. Uh, so this completes uh, history. Mm. Uh, uh, history suggestive of volume overload palpitation followed by breathlessness uh, I'm, and with the background history of hole in the heart at the age of two and a half years, I am thinking of uh, VSD which was restrictive VSD and now uh, uh, development of aortic regurgitation sir. or uh, second possibility is uh, sinus of pulse salva aneurysm, so, so subacute rupture of sinus of pulse salva aneurysm sir. How frequently? So, back to the whole in that, it was got to see develop a patient for the last two years. Yes. Now, for the last three. Oh, that not this. We can't think of some. We cannot give you a diagnosis of sense for the energy. Oh, this year, okay, fine. Why don't you give HD? Sir, for ASD, sir, age is uh, slightly earlier, th at the age of 33 years, sir, he presented his volume over palpitation followed by breathlessness class 3. Uh, generally, ASD present uh, at age of 4th or 5th decade, sir. But so let OAS develop 4th, 5th decade, 3rd, 4th decade. This is 4th decade now. Yes, in ASD, sir, is it 30, 31 years, is it developed, but 4th decade. Yes, sir. And not ASD. Uh, sir, ASD is a possibility, but sir, diagnosis of uh, murmur at the age of two years is relatively uncommon in ASD compared to VSD, sir. Sir, why not you get a murmur to two and a half years? Get a murmur. Uh, sir, ASD generally produces flow murmur, so, and VSD murmurs are quite harsh, which are easy to diagnose. Oh, easy to diagnose, but ASD also can diagnose, no? If you see, you could only be breathing down, no? Yes, sir. Why are you putting down? 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 Why what type of VHD and what which was prolapse occurs? 
sir generally uh, uh, cuspal prolapse is more common with subarterial vsd which is about uh, 30% uh, have cuspal prolapse and development of uh, uh, severe ar in 2 to 7% of the overall vsd cases and uh, in perimembranous vsd 3 to 4% of uh, patients can get cuspal prolapse what mechanism why why Illness, basic, white, uh, sir, uh, there are two mechanisms. One is the cuspal prolapse because of unsupported right coronary cusp or non-coronary cusp can get prolapsed uh, into VSD and restrictive the, uh, restricting the VSD. Second is due to a uh, venturi effect which is that of uh, VSD from left ventricle to right ventricle suck the coronary cusp, uh, cusp uh, towards the VSD, sir. Well, that occurs still, you know. Venturi occurs in systole. Why do you get here? Here is directly given. Sir, cause. Venturi occurs in systole. Not come to let them try it. Systole and venturi has to happen. Systole only. But here is directly given. Yes, sir. Sometimes there is associated sinus of aneurysm. Of sinus is also present, yeah, which uh, hypothetical these things. How how many cases we get sinus with aneurysm in VSD? Hypothetical thing. Tell you, it is it is practical in the practical exam. It is practical. Go by commonness. So then, the, the, the मतलब right coronary cusp get prolapsed uh, into the VSD. So uh, coaptation of the cusp uh, will not occur during diastole, sir. In that remain there only. So it the 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 cost cost is drawn towards the VSD and it remain there, but it doesn't go to usual usual plane. Usually, it occur when the when the when the blood passes. Hmm. It stops. Yes, now. sir. It should stop. Yeah. What about initially the core core blood pressure cost? See, we do we do see cardiogram, we do CT subarterial VST or subarterial VST. See, outer pillar surface only. Some cases. Then gradually, over time, so that pillar surface that there changes occurs, relaxes, fibrous occurs, so then develop here. Yeah. So, for the different types of cases, so it is even though it is systolic event, but the hemodynamic stress. At changes, pathological changes of course depict, and uh, the valve operation becomes defective. Yes. Um, when it is a case of oh, forget that that normal could due to subarty membrane. Now we are only. I do think based. Forget that whole full. At normal me because of the subarty membrane. Sir, uh, this is about the membrane now because the murmur is getting that, and uh, you are getting now. Here only. Sir, if it, if history is uh, whole of the heart is not uh, not there, then it is possible, sir. Uh, Subaortic membrane with uh, developing here in at this age. No, not possible. So, what the membrane usually develop symptoms are autism and so rather than here. Here always mild, mild maximum moderate. So, symptoms for here is dominant there, not here. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why not plain BHT? Why do you think it is here? Okay, BHT one now the BHT is we are not close and BHT now the thirty thirty years LV is. LB has um, facing the volume load. Now the patient no matter they can't go on heart failure. Also also, mild moderate VHD patient may develop heart failure. As age advances, we have seen many cases. Why not only VHD? Why do you think we are here? Sir, because generally uh, large VHD which have uh, large pulmonary blood flow. No, 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 Not very large, uh, mild to moderate size BHT, not large BHT. The BHT, patient not symptomatic at that time. Okay, now is because of the 33 years LV is LV LV is 33 years. So 33 years is 
according to pathology. Now he has gone to heart failure. Or keep this not to why not? And we are only wished. So simple uh, restrictive VSD is there, sir. Oh, yeah, we have seen, we have seen cases. Where they come with acute affiliation, they come with heart failure. Some um, heart moderate size beast. So while you were thinking age uh, first time, you didn't think of age at all, so uh, we suggested uh, age. Are you accepting age or not? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, this is a possible second diagnosis. Okay. So I can have the text fine. It prepares me on maybe because of BHC or because of age. But why do you listen to breath breathlessness now? BHR, what is the cause of breathlessness? Sir, there is a, in a, if AR is severe, then there is a, a higher end diastolic volume, uh, which, which can give rise to uh, development of uh, PVH or development of LV dysfunction can give rise to breathlessness. Yeah, or either or PVH or LV dysfunction, I don't know, sorry. PVH or LV dysfunction, what is either or? ಸರ್ Uh, yes, sir. From history, we can think of both possibilities, sir. Uh, severe chronic regurgitation can also give rise to elevated end diastolic pressure and uh, pulmonary venous hypertension. It can give rise to breathlessness. Second possibility why, is development. Why end diastolic pressure develop in any uh, severe air, chronic severe air? Because uh, large volume overload of the uh, left ventricle, yeah. initially left ventricle uh, uh, eccentric enlargement. of left ventricle occur so dilatation and hypertrophy will occur uh, mm. overall uh, over a period of time then the, the compliance of the left ventricle gets depressed and uh, rise of uh, lv and diastolic pressures occurs so that heart failure or no heart failure yes sir that is heart failure so you are telling either totally so what ever maybe either atrial failure diastolic or whatever maybe when you dbc what do you how to define heart failure what to define is heart failure So, how do you define heart failure? Give a good, very concrete definition of heart failure. Right. You don't have books with you around? No. No, sir. <laughs> Tell me, how do you define heart failure? Now it has come. Now the the question that they ask like this question. Exam. How to define heart failure? What is the definition of heart failure? So broadly, what is heart failure? It is a defect in pump or defect in filling, no? Yes, sir. Either pump failure or the defect or the filling pump. Yes, sir. So uh, it is heart failure. ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿ <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Yes, sir. Okay, you, uh, you are thinking of the patient has got based wear and LV dysfunction, so breathlessness. Yes, sir. Is there any, any, any indication of uh, definite history of breathlessness there? Reflected pillow? Or a definite history? I mean... very specific 
ఏం జస్ట్ విల్ స్ట్రిబుల్ అరే దడిన దడిన ఓట్ ఓట్ ఆన్సర్ నో ఏం సిస్టమ్ దట్ దట్ హవ్ కాల్కులేట్ హౌ టు కాల్కులేట్ ఇన్ జిక్స్ బాల్ హౌ టు డేట్ హౌ హౌ టు వాట్ ద ఫ్యాక్టర్ డిటర్మినేషన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ ఇస్ జిక్సన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ లో డిపెండెంట్ కన్సర్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ contractile function of the eli function tell load in independent is load dependent no is it factors load independent any factor any variable load in any variable which can suggest c4 different color contractile function or c4 function i don't know sir okay <coughs> elastance hmm elastance you know what is it as point out what is elastance read it today okay sir yes it's totally the pressure volume relation yes sir okay fine so now what is dp by dt sir dp by dt is rate of rise of pressure rate of rise of pressure Okay, now let's come to it. So, uh, now back to our clinical uh, case. Um, uh, what is it? Um, so, BHD here and uh, ASD. And uh, now, uh, does it think of a BHD hole as closed only here it is? Back to the outer wall only here. Uh, but it has been diagnosed uh, long, long ago. Yes, sir. That one hole is there. That time, the time is hole is there. The hole might be closed now. Sorry, so only here, only here, only here. Only here. Back to short evolve only here. Uh, yes, sir. If uh, it is a, uh, either it was a muscular VSD or, uh, only sub-arterial VSD and inlet outlet VSD don't close. so if it was not there then it is a possibility at the age of the 30 years to present bicuspid aortic valve with aortic regurgitation sir mm. i don't know why don't think in that yes sir it is a possibility sir but so what if it doesn't close you see we are inviting questions now see i told that my uh, as exam now my exam now i am a fake exam now you oh. ask the question that we uh, should close now by a backer start and here is yes, a possible sir why do you see in invited now so battle we eat not so battle we eat not must like we did so now we tell you why so battle we start it be doesn't close they don't close or the mechanism closer or the mechanism so now why i tell you all of you when you answer the questions be careful you will be very much economical when answering the questions Okay, if you know the answer, you could. If you suppose somebody is not able to answer properly, then you are in, uh, in trouble. Is it possible? Yes, it is based on the glucose and the air. This is possible. Then it's done. So how do we how do we make the VSD closure? Sir, uh, muscular VSD gets closed by direct opposition of the margin, and perimembranous VSD generally gets closed by tricuspid leaflet. Uh, uh closer by tricuspid leaflet uh, and uh, sometimes uh, right coronary cusp prolapse can uh, close the uh, perimembranous vsd is it the answer to for the vsd closure very distinct mechanism is closed is partially correct okay, okay exam is already get let's come to now uh apna what is to discuss in the next part exam time uh sir so on general examination patient is conscious cooperative well oriented to time place and person height is 162 cm weight is 56 kg bmi 21.34 kg per meter square temperature normal palpation pulse 82 per minute regular high volume collapsing type pulse no radio radial no radio femoral delay all peripheral pulses are palpable high volume collapsing 
collapsing bol sir hmm rejection there is a rise of a blood uh, rise of blood column and then uh, it suddenly uh, decelerates during uh, uh, late part of systole fine
solitus levocardia a synodic congenital heart disease in the form of vsd shunting left to right shunt fraction less than 2 jam 1 uh, associated with severe aortic regurgitation with uh, moderate pvh moderate pulmonary artery hypertension no ccf uh, no moderate pvh moderate ph yes sir no ccf no infective endocarditis normal sinus rhythm sinus team symptoms are mild so i i expect uh, that is good and you mind your listen so you better get a pants pretty more pants is you got a pants section of throughout the system level got uh, the gradient between lb and ab gradient and uh, you get a grade for rising smart mode it have to just be with a heavy high gradient mm-hmm. yes sir and uh, you get it to the p2 is to p2 normal a to south p2 normal 
and um, you got uh, what that no partial leaps we got a hyperdynamic apex but no partial leaps it didn't didn't mention the rv but also an epic structure not there also maybe so yeah. why do you say uh, why do you say it is a case of a modded ps Uh, sir, um, uh, sir, P2 uh, is actually uh, there is a pan-systolic murmur which is covering A2 and uh, the early diastolic murmur is also there. So intensity of P2 may be slightly underestimated by, uh, but patient is in functional class three. So I am thinking of PVH is around uh, 20, uh, 18 to 25, and transpulmonary gradient if I add 12, then it is uh, coming around 37, sir. So I am think uh, telling that it is a moderate PVH. ट्वेंटी नॉर्मली Many times I told the class. Only when somebody asks you what is the class one, class two, class three, you know, it's you should not miss any comma and push the whatever definition given originally. That one, the examiner wants that he should give that exact definition because that is the things only for any whole life will be dealing with that. Functional class two, functional class three, class four, and what is the what is the different class four. Sir, in any case, a patient with cardiac disease who are having symptom of palpitation, dyspnea, angina, and fatigue, uh, which on less than or no, the, the still you have really, you have missed one sentence, sir. I'm not. I won't tell this. You have to go and read it again. Remember these things. Okay. Switching of the heart failure and NOS function class, what are all function class, ECG group and WHC function class. All you have to remember these things. All the scanning, cardiac specialty, and the um, um, Goldman's activity scale. I believe you will remember. Yes, sir. Definitely, the last thing you are one one of the four cases you will ask. Yes, sir. We can see uh, this case. You are not getting the obvious signs of PP or PS. So, can mild PS? We can see if you see the mild to moderate PP and mild PS. Okay, sir. The examiner will ask you. I am not getting in the open. Uh, Peter Lau, sir. We can mention that the patient has a partially moderate ADM also. There are the very difficult to appreciate splitting as well as the intensity of the second sound. Yes, sir. But able to appreciate it. And and how can we get that the patient has got so much of so much of what here you get the sixth out and the LV is there and so much wide pulse pressure. How can we stop our splitting as second sound? It will delay. It will have to delay here. Yes. Do you want a patient has a heart no? See, this type of patient they get, so they have also arrhythmic obstruction also. Do you think that is arrhythmic because you are telling that no? Or you are you are telling that people they are in red color six no no? So do you think that arrhythmic obstruction there, which which the compounding effect of that normal and base normal? Or this poor patient has got subacute membrane there. So we're getting grade four by six more, big more, more getting. By so much big. So the grade four by six more, more. So is there a associated subacute membrane which may not be very significantly obstructing your view? Okay, but some some more more is producing. So this more more, this more more, this compound is getting more more. Or there could be associated view okay narrowing. So that we are getting grade four, grade four by six more more after we see it. Okay. Clearly, possible, possible, but clinically I'm not able to. Is it? Only thing that only you can explain that this big big gradient because of the the heavy 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 blood pressure high one party. 
because you were here in the revenge one for the also there could be large gradient across the beast so we are getting red for six per month yes because you were here where the limit is is high also so that may be increasing gradient or there could be associated elevated narrowing because of the subarctic membrane which is not very permanent not significant but so marmar there which is compound effect of beast marmar and this marmar or there could be an elevated obstruction also yes sir so you told um, um, silver here is it yes sir uh, this elevation is because of the silver here or uh, or because of the vht or elevated dysfunction or what what do you think um, sir it is because of silver here not elevated dysfunction how can you get elevation in silver here if you get in the lv silver here what is what is your thing getting uh, vht because of the upper and lv or because of lv system dysfunction sir it is a more common with lv systolic dysfunction sir uh, yeah you may get s3 that may be because of the hyperdynamic uh, hypo acoustic metal work yes sir or you know the here is you won't get no hypo acoustic metal work it, it may ostentatory effect may get probabilis so lv is in presence over here think of lv dysfunction understood now Yes. So that means patient had an N C two volume a little more. So that's why you're getting the LVT. Yes, sir. Okay, if you see that, and uh, you should look for MDM. There could be also osteopenic MDM, maybe there also. Yes. Um. Okay. So. So these are these are the only what to discuss and exam the last question. So here, the what do we do? Think of it is subaudi BHT or the perimembranous BHT. I mean, it is uh, outlet BHT or perimembranous BHT. What do you think? Mm-hmm. May not be. It may not be correct, but still, what do you think? What it is to be? Uh, generally, aortic valve prolapse is more common with subarterial BHT. Sorry. No, here clinical I'm not asking theory. I'm clinical masking. I'm not asking theory here. Okay. All clinical. No. You practical exam, physical exam, not clinical. Practical exam. You will practical, not you. Yes, sir. But clinically, I am not able to differentiate between perimembranous and subarterial VSD. Only third course case more or better, no? Yes, sir. Low down it is. Yes, sir. And outside VSD high or high or? Below four 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 nine one higher than out here. Okay. Who possible sir? Who are the difficulty? But it's possible it is it is uh, it is very much it is low down. Yeah. But it is getting past it. Okay sir. Suppose the patient has concomitant albuterol uh, obstruction. What finding you would have got? What is the findings? Uh, sir, albuterol obstruction there. And who this? Is he here with albuterol? We get no. This subset we get. Yes sir. Yes sir. So if RVT obstruction would have been there, then uh, features of parasternal lift uh, and rise in JVP would be there, sir. Sir. And JVP raise raise JVP means what? No, raise JVP non-specific water center is there. Sir. Raise JVP non-specific water center. Sir. Non-specific water center. Raise JVP with uh, prominent A wave can can be there, sir. Why raise JVP raise? From the A wave would have got. Why JVP will raise? Jugular venous pressure, mean pressure, only could be raised. No, here is primary. Here, primary here we got then. What else? Hmm. Parasternal lift. Okay. Okay. Okay, you might have got it. Okay, fine then. Hmm. What else? Murmur, uh, systolic murmur at higher, uh, I mean, left second intercostal space. No, it is a deserved type. No, deserved type or infinite type. This is not valid. No, you think of no, it is not valid. No, this is it is just personal. So, the human get higher murmur, murmur, murmur because it is more severe. 
Yes, sir. VHD murmur will decrease or what? VHD murmur will decrease, right? What? Sir, left to right shunting will be decreased if RVOT obstruction is associated with a uh, higher uh, AV pressure. Okay, depends upon your RVOT obstruction. Yes, sir. Yes. So, then what kind of murmur we have got? Suppose you okay, but this has got significant. I will be obstruction. Hot murmur, hot kind of murmur. Ejection systolic murmur. Now, how to modify the base murmur? You told me the base murmur will modify, no? Yes. So asking, based on your answer, I'm asking how, how does, how would you modify the base murmur? This has significant obstruction or beauty. Maybe some infundible or some infundible, maybe this same type. Yes, sir. This, uh, what kind of murmur would I got? It is, it is not, it is not, it is mostly, it is, it is mostly, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, mostly, it is, remembrance. You open it to the proximal chamber. Yes, sir. So, how does it modify the base murmur? Sir, I don't know. Because one case now is that I am just, I'm prolonging the discussion. Mm. Mm. Sir, uh, pan-systolic murmur would not be there, sir. Early systolic component will be there. So, early systolic murmur. So, why are you taking so much time? Yes. Could you maybe early systolic murmur? Maybe partially murmur also depending on the early pressure. Early yes. But we may get, you may get early systolic murmur, even partially murmur will get depending on the right ventricular pressure. Mm -hmm. A significant obstruction there, you may get a polycystolic murmur because the latter part of the system, there is equalization. So, yes. murmur will obstruct. And second sound, P2 will be soft. Soft. P2 will be soft. There cannot be sign of system, but No, no sign of system. Okay, so this, I think this is our discussion. Yes, sir. You don't think that is a case of, uh, you, you told, you thought you were dying, so what is that? Uh, Arosu, you know, Arosu, Arosu, not Arosu. Yes, I get a sister, not not Arosu. You told us, so rupture and now, you know, second, you give one dying, say Arosu, you know, from history. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why not Arosu? Uh, sir, Arosu will produce continuous murmur, sir. It is just like, now, regularly passing one more of 2A2, beyond A2 also. And immediately murmur starting, EDM starting, so it could be, uh, it could be passed for maybe. Why not? What is difference between, uh, you know, what is the difference between continuous murmur? The continuous uh, murmur is starting with uh, uh, first heart sound and completely uh, masking the second heart uh, sound. No, 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 it doesn't start with first heart sound. I should start with first sound. No, no, start. Please, please read this. Uh, called some murmur definition or murmur definition. At least your clinical methods should not be on uh, uh, clinical findings, clinical description, clinical findings, definition of the uh, clinical findings should not be, you should not commit a mistake. You may not be able to answer the, you know, the correlation or uh, cross question, but the definition of the community, some murmur, all system murmur, trade system murmur, the definition should not be, uh, very constant murmur. You know, start a person, why should start a person? Not necessary. Pass is still going to die, actually. Yes, sir, masking That's the second heart sound and uh, goes up to uh, either full, uh, full, full diastole or part of the diastole. Yeah, that that, that not, doesn't require definition. That does, doesn't require definition. Yes, sir. So, why not it is a constant murmur? We are telling, why not is it the ROC? Because you can get it on diagnosis ROC, so one thing could be ROC, maybe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why not on ROC? It was slow rupture, no? Slow rupture. Slowly, yes. slowly rupture. Dividing the size. Sir, if the, I mean, uh, shunt, significant shunt uh, would have been occurred, then uh, uh, feature of uh, LV volume overload along with uh, mid diastolic murmur can we get we can get sir. Yes, 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 sir.
if shunt is significantly high. No, no, it's not a typical constant murmur, no? it's not a you know, constant murmur. It is two and four murmur, it is one three murmur, plus it is not a constant murmur. They will ask what is combination. You will justify that it is not a constant murmur. Sir, because of S2, sir, S2, uh, we are hearing here a component of uh, S2. So, in a continuous murmur, there will be masking of the S2, sir. Okay, so, so what is, are there any different angles or these are the things? You don't think of it as a case of supporting membrane? Sir. I have some mind angles, I give you from my, I cannot support the membrane. That murmur, system murmur, because it will be obstruction and EDM may act. I can support the membrane, it will be systolic, it will be solid component. Usually, our system is permanent. Yes, sir. Uh, you have to become a maximum audit, not severe. Yeah. Here, all features we are here, rather than the yes, so it's not a support member. There could be member, but it's not, it's not pathological, not significant. Yes, sir. On uh, pre-clinical exam, exams. It is, as, as for your findings, you can see more there, radium there, so grade 3 more and more, grade 3 more more, grade 4 more more. So, because of very high, I'm on a high intensity more more, so I'm thinking there could be some uh, none of the disarm or there could be some sort of RUD obstruction. Mm -hmm. Are you not getting it clear? Yes, sir. No. Do you take this up? with the back of the RUD? Yes, sir. BHT and back of the RUD. I am not... See, it may not, it may not, be, it may not be the air may not be related to your BHT. It could be yes, BHT. Sir. See, yes, Back, yeah, with severe here. Why not? Transist transistolic murmur would not, will not be there. And... Uh, yeah, yeah. Is there, no, is there. Okay. there is there. Yes, sir. Is there, because the panel energy, any panel can be associated with the BHD. The BHD factors will have to be here. Sir, click is not there, sir, click. Click not there. Or click. Sir, which link? Sir, click. 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 Yes, sir. One third, one third will be present with uh, AR before uh, generally a decade earlier than AS. Uh, after four decade, uh, AS is predominant. One third will present with isolated AS, and one third will be combined division, sir, AS and AR. And one third is normal or not? Somebody else doesn't develop any, any neither AS nor AR also. Uh, changes, changes occurs. Yeah, develops. Other thing is, 
talk about the different people that no person has got volume overload and even has volume overload there sir there are no prominent q waves in lateral lid sir only r r wave is prominent sir what do you mean by that there is no much enlargement in the this by no you know that what do you think sir lv lv enlargement is definitely there sir that i okay, that i told v6 greater than v5 but q not there means what do you think and there is no significant operate t also yes sir there are no operate t also Rather, you are getting T inverse in uh, infillates. No Q. That indicative of the indication of element dysfunction. Okay. Okay. Yes. The no Q. Okay. Fine. Next. X-ray. Hmm. So much cardiomegal there. See. Yes, sir. Cardiomegal is there. CT ratio is around sixty percent. Hmm. Is it rotated or not? Are you sure it? Okay, both are well in line, so it well central looks like or rotated. Trachea looks a little bit like that. What are the current LV type of apex? No. Yes, LV type of apex. Sorry, I would die. Is sorry, last minute because you are in that, but you rotated the film. I think it is slightly rotated film, so it appears are in that. But so much enlargement that, of course, appears so much enlargement. But are you really? Some uh, there's some shadow in shadow looks like that. Of course, it it is uh, it looks now in brownish. Yes, sir. It is the <laughs> background of the film is not proper. So there is a piece there that you think there is. Evidence of no. You have to think of it. Cardiomegal there, evidence sound there, evidence of pulmonary venous hypertension, evidence of PS. So many things you have to know. Tell us, no. Has got LH and LAS, and in case LH is not an LH and LAS. What do you think of LH and LAS and LH and LAS? Uh, so associated mitral wall disease, we can think of. I really function think of. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Or second, it could be BH, it could be speech, sound maybe. No, BH sound maybe significant sound. But then this. Because we are getting BH here, diagnosis BH giving BH, then either sound is significant or the sound is less, LV dysfunction. Yes. Got to. Okay. Uh, what is echo diagnosis? What test echo? Echo test. Uh, echo is a dilated left ventricular. LV IDD is 62 millimeter. LV IDD is uh, uh, IDS is 48 millimeter. Uh, EF is 50 percent. Uh, Subaortic VSD and severe aortic regurgitation was there, sir. And there was a subaortic membrane. Uh, gradient was around 20 millimeter of it. So what membrane there? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Good. Okay, good. Good case. Yes, sir. 